everybody! I'm so excited that I get to talk about another story from the Bible with you today. Before we start our story, let's practice our new memory verse. It goes like this. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Psalm 139, 14. Great job, guys! Now, I want you to find your grown-up in the room, point to them, and say, you're my grown-up. Practice the verse with your grown-up while you march around the room. Can you do that? Grown-ups, this is your cue. Pause the video when the verse pops up on the screen and practice it together. Great job practicing our verse! Now, let's talk about our story from the Bible. Since our story is from the Bible, what do we know about it? It's absolutely true! Absolutely true! Everything the Bible says is absolutely true! Great job! Today, our story is from the book of Luke, and we are going to learn about 10 men and how Jesus helped them. Through this story, we are going to learn that Jesus has the power to heal. While Jesus was here on earth, he spent much of his time serving others. Jesus was always ready to help people who were in need and heal those who were sick. Many times he would perform miracles. Do you know what a miracle is? A miracle is something wonderful only God can do. And since Jesus is God's son, he was able to perform many miracles while he lived here on earth. Well, one day, as Jesus was passing through a town, suddenly he heard a group of men calling out to him. The Bible says there were 10 men. Can you count to 10 with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job. 10 men called out to Jesus. These men were very sick with a disease called leprosy. Leprosy was a very terrible disease that made your skin sick. People with leprosy would get big painful sores all over their body. And worst of all, it was very contagious, which means it could spread to other people very quickly. These men with leprosy were called lepers, and the lepers were not allowed to go into the city because other people were afraid of catching their disease. This means that they had to live alone outside of the city, separated from everybody else. They were probably very sad and very lonely to have to live far away from all of the other people. When the lepers saw Jesus, they called out to him, hoping that he could heal their terrible sickness. They cried out, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us! Do you think that Jesus cared about these sick, lonely men? Yes, he did! Jesus loved the lepers, and he stopped to speak to them. He told them to go show themselves to the priest in the city. What? The men couldn't believe it. Jesus was telling them to go into the city where they were not allowed to go. But the Bible says that as the men left Jesus and went toward the city, they were healed. Jesus had taken their leprosy away completely because Jesus has the power to heal. Their skin was completely healthy and not sick anymore. This meant that the men didn't have to stay out of the city. They could go and live a life with everyone else now. They didn't have to be separated from their families or lonely anymore. When the lepers saw that they were healed, I'm sure that they were happier than we can even imagine. But the Bible says that of all 10 men, only one turned back to talk to Jesus. He fell at Jesus' feet, thanking him for healing his leprosy. Jesus told the man that his faith had made him well. The man had trusted that Jesus has the power to heal, and Jesus had healed him. I think that this is a great time for a question. Grown-ups, when you see the question pop up on the screen, pause the video and talk about it until you're ready to move on. Jesus loved the lepers and he went to them when they cried out to him for help. Jesus has the power to heal and he chose to heal the lepers that day because he is kind and compassionate. And do you know what? Jesus loves and cares for us too. And he has the power to heal. Thanks for listening today, everybody. See you next time.